I'm Patty. I'm Diane. And we are Wigged Out Sisters. Sisters. We're back. We have another wig re video review for you. What are we doing today, Patty? We're doing a new company that we have never worn before. We're doing two bell tress wigs. And in the color brown sugar sweet cream. That's a mouthful, but it's very similar if you're a Raquel Welch lover to Shady Cappuccino, which I wear quite often. So we wanted to try these colors and see how they compared. I have a, a Raquel Welch Shade of Biscuit right here, and you can see how it's very similar. It does have a lot more blonde around the face, the Raquel Welch, and a little lighter blonde around the face than this one, but not, not marketably so, because you can see this has the blondes around the face, just not quite as much. The back, I think, is almost identical. So it's a nice, um, if you like those colors and you were wanted to try a new style in a similar color, that's what we thought this would be good for. I'm wearing Devotion HP by Beltress in the sweet cream brown, the brown sugar sweet cream. Um, it's just above the, the shoulder, so it doesn't really, they are heat sensitive. They do have a lace front. It is not temple to temple. It's about to here. And you can kind of see it's nicely done. It's not recall nicely done, but it's very <coughs> nice. And um, the only thing I can say if you wanted to do a comparison is the ear tabs are a little wimpy compared to what I'm used to on my Raquel Welch wig. If you're a big headed lady like me, that this was a little snugger than most of my Raquel Welch wigs, this is gonna have to spend some time on the stretching rack. Um, the color is pretty dead on. The styles are, they, they have lots of interesting and fun styles that give you something new in your wardrobe for the color that you already love and you know works for you. It's a nice cool tone shade. I noticed that the root is a little different. Um, this root doesn't really show on camera, but it has a little more warmth to it. It's almost like a little bit cinnamonish. It has a little warmth to it. And this is a little, I would say even a little cooler, medium brown. So this has a little tiny bit of a lighter rooty. Very, very hard to discern on camera but I'm real happy with it. I think it's a casual, everyday sort of loose curl. Um, I didn't do anything to it. I just took it out of the box and plopped it on my head. There's the back. Real pretty curl pattern. Real, real I pretty. I haven't steamed it or fussed with it or, I mean, it just, it's a lovely loose curl, soft, flattering, feminine, um, and it shouldn't get, get caught up in your jewelry and your clothing because it's a little shorter. And I really love it. I think I'm going to really enjoy this wig. I think I'm going to enjoy wearing it like I do my Shade of Biscuits. And Patty, what do you have? I'm wearing City Roast, which is the Beachy Wave. I've been wanting to try a Beachy Wave wig. I've been looking at Beachy Wave wigs for like six months. And then I finally did. This is City Roast. She's in, of course, that same color. Love her. I haven't stopped wearing her since she came. I wear her and almost that's a every longer. day. She's been wearing it around town. She's been taking this wig off since she got it. Um, and she always wears it all the way back with a headband, but it's real pretty on you. Yeah, I love it. And it's a lot longer than you wear your hair. And uh, you can see... And it's got the these really shadowed... Really shattered, I think, is the word they use for these, but they're really broken up and kind of wild. Beachy wave. Love it, love it, love it. And like she said, I do wear it with one of those forked headbands that separates it, and I wear it pulled back and a couple pieces of my face, and I absolutely love it. But it's you don't her, have to. It's, it's been her go-to all for the last it two or three weeks. It looks real cute without it. So, um, I have no complaints. I've really enjoyed wearing this wig, and... I'm going to be really sad to put it away for summer. So we're considering Beltress a hit for us. Yes. What are we drinking today, Patty? Today we are drinking a French martini, and it is uh, chambray, vodka, and pineapple juice. Mmm. It's light and refreshing. It's a nice it's spring, very light and refreshing. Nice spring cocktail. We wanted to talk about something else. Last video we did... We asked 
if some of our subscribers would be brave enough to send us a picture of themselves wearing their cute wig and perhaps even tell us what wig they're wearing. <laughs> so we put that out there and a couple ladies sent us some pictures and we were very thrilled because we think it's nice for, you see us in our wigs and you know the different types of wigs we wear and the colors that we wear, but we thought it would be nice to see everyday women out and about with their favorite wigs on. And so you can get an idea of how other people look wearing their wigs. And it gives us a chance as wig sisters to have a place where we can share. And we really like that idea, and we're hoping that you guys do too. I like seeing everybody in their wigs. We I like seeing it. what they're wearing. I like seeing how they look. I like hearing them say, I feel good, like I do. I feel confident when I go out in one of my beautiful wigs. Uh, it makes me feel amazing. So I like seeing that. Show so, us one of the pictures that we got. Here's one of our subscribers that sent us her picture, and she looks absolutely fabulous. Yes, she does. In her wig. And she is rocking it. She's wearing Shade of Biscuit. Is it Crowd Pleaser? Uh, I gave you the specs on it, so. I don't recall if I wrote it down or anything. It looks like Crowd Pleaser, Shade of yeah. Biscuit, Raquel Welch. And then our other one, we got, we got a couple of them. We're thrilled. <laughs> so we're hoping that you guys will be brave enough to send us a couple pictures, too. Because now you might get tired of seeing just me and Patty in our wigs. And I think that's pretty much, you know, what made us happy this month is seeing how coming up with that idea of sharing pictures of our viewers, especially our subscribers. She sent us a picture of her and her wig and she looks so cute, but she did not give us the, you know, what she's wearing, what color. But she also looks amazing. Isn't that a pretty red? Mm-hmm. Beautiful Very wig. strawberry with the rooting. I wouldn't hazard to guess what what color that is but really it's sets off really sets off her beautiful blue eyes so i want to thank our subscribers for sending us pictures in their wigs i really enjoyed seeing them um please send us more thanks for joining us for yet another wig review with patty and diane wigged out sisters and we look forward to seeing more pictures from our subscribers thanks for coming today thank you